We are at the Great Pyramids in Giza, which is in Cairo, Egypt. And I am in the first week of recording my second album here, which is under the umbrella of One World Turning Project, which is basically a series of albums that I'm creating in Egypt using Western melodies and accentuating them with Arabic instruments. So now we're going into the second album, and it's called Sakaar. Saqqara is a place in Egypt, it's actually in Saqqara, and it's a temple, and it's the very first pyramid ever made. I don't know, it feels really active to me, it feels like a lot of energy went into creating it and keeping it alive, and it almost feels like, you know, the carvings inside the walls are still alive, you know, they still have wisdom in them. In the arms of the queen. Sakara really is the beginning for me as this new artist and I use the meditation and the temple and the energy to kind of let go of something that I needed to let go of in order to become reborn. But it really was about just being still, listening to the moment, kind of noticing the energies. There's a lot of melody here for a composer to indulge in. And so what I would do is I would go to the quiet part of Egypt and melodies would just come to me. I just kind of extracted what I was hearing. And then I take those melodies back to the busy, loud, noisy, you know, smoky Cairo and record them. And she will rise. Uh, what? Say it again. I can be the bell for you. Like that? Yeah. There's no truth in your So Motaz is um, co-producing with me. He's an Arabic producer, very well known in the film market. You want me to sing it differently? Yeah, I will. He's very intense and he speaks very little English, so sometimes it's hard to communicate about the details, but when we just talk about the music, then we communicate perfectly. You can make music, but uh, I'm talking about the feeling. If you need the feeling and you, you need to catch the feeling between your artists, you have to be in harmony with him, because she finds this harmony. We can understand each other. There's no truth. Three. Three. Yeah, exactly. There's no truth in your yeah, eyes that I can exactly. see. Yeah, exactly. Him and I have a, the same vision, like we connected with the first album and we both believe in using art to bring peaceful conversation in the world. Western music and Arabic music, how to, 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 to play it together. I provide melodies and he goes, oh great, this is fantastic. And he goes away and he, you know, adds the Arabic instruments. It's like the notes in between our notes. The layering of instruments that happen in Arabic music, the scale is different and the harmonics are different. She smiled to everyone and Elise have a message. So I'm excited because I am not only play the music, but I give the people. Elise's message, or what she believes, that all of us, whatever is the color, whatever is the, the, the language, whatever is the religion, that we are all humans. Kawud is, um, his name means baby camel. <laughs> Kawud! Stay away from the, uh, the people who they have no mind, even if they are good. Kawud was very influential in helping me understand about the Muslim culture and the faith, which is all part of the music.
I feel like they're part of my family and the fact that they're Muslim doesn't really come into the equation. It's more of the fact that they're spiritual, that their hearts are wanting to do what's right, that they're such beautiful people. Yeah, walking through Old Cairo is fantastic because it's just what life is like. Like nothing stops and is some kind of order. You know, when you're creating something magical, everything is happening at the same time. And in the chaos, you find one little thing and you piece it together with something else and you've got this beautiful tapestry of whatever, you know, music or art. Or... And so I feel like Arabic music is a little bit like that. It's chaotic and yet you take these moments out of it, these harmonics, and you place them together and you have this beautiful melody. What I loved about Elise from the early beginning that like she's a beautiful human who have a, a very good beautiful heart who can feel the other suffering. She want to use her, her talent to can make things better. I love the idea. So I was singing in Arabic for the first time. This is so hard for me to explain. The first couple lines were difficult because we were trying to say the words just perfectly, but once I just let go and just listened to it as a melodic sound, it was fine. I'm very fortunate to have been introduced to a band called Basata. They're very famous here in Egypt. So I'm singing a little bit of Arabic on their song and then I'm singing in English. So it's a lovely kind of marriage, you know. I'm putting it on my album and they're putting it on theirs. So we'll have this beautiful collaboration. Music is one language, touching the soul, especially when it is beautiful music coming from the heart direct. Working on Saqqara, it's a great opportunity to kind of create a new paradigm. A lot of people want this. They want to bring things together in an artistic way. It's really our job as artists to make sure that we are bringing things together. I